understanding testing. Necessity of testing. The method of testing initially was debugging. Basically, the developers would break down the code to find holes or gaps in it. There wasn't a separate testing team to test the application. The main problem with this technique was it was difficult for the development team members to find errors in their own piece of code. Later on, a clear distinction was made between debugging, which is identifying and eliminating bugs in the code, and software testing, which is actually testing the software in the real-world settings. Testing is a quality control activity. Testing includes a range of activities that form an integral part of every stage of software life cycle. The main objective of testing is to discover defects. Other objectives include prevent defects and to gain confidence about the level of quality. Testing is an iterative process and organizations will improve their capability and knowledge with time. Testing as a process consists of activities before, during, and after actual testing occurs. Testing includes a range of activities that form an integral part of every stage of software life cycle. You should always try to detect and fix defects during the initial stages of software development. Early testings and defect removal is usually much less expensive. Other than ensuring quality, you should also consider the end point of view. For example, consider the word processor. It may have few errors in the application, but as long as the user can use it to type documents and format them, the software is good to deliver to the end user even though there are few errors in it. To eliminate the defects in the faulty software, it is important to understand the cause of defects. Faulty software is the result of the errors or mistakes made while designing and building it. Most software issues can be divided into three categories. They are error, defect and failure. Error. An error is a mistake or an action performed by a person or persons that leads to an incorrect result. This could be an error made by someone using a software system or an error made by someone in the process of designing and building the software system. Defect. A defect also known as bug or fault is a flaw in a system or a component that can cause the system or component to fail to perform its required functions such as incorrect statements or data definition. Failure. A failure is defined as a deviation of the component or system from its expected delivery, service or result. A defect causes a software system to fail. Failure occurs when a software system doesn't perform as expected. It is important to note that not all defects result in failure. A failure only occurs when code is executed. Testing also involves verifying and validating of the software design. Testing is done manually or by using tools with the predefined objectives. In manual testing, testers needs to execute the software from the end user's standpoint. For effective manual testing, it is important to design test cases with detailed steps to test all the software requirements. Even though manual testing is time consuming, it helps to identify the maximum number of defects. Automated testing 
is the process of performing the testing activities with the use of automated tools. Automated testing helps in reducing the testing time, providing accuracy in the test execution. Automated testing can only be done on previously written scripts. Therefore, manual testing should be thoroughly done at least once before using any automated tools. Thank you.